Now, Julius, we're here with one element of Maya Sound's Leopard, uh, their compact line array in the Leo family. Obviously, we haven't got enough room to hang the whole thing in here, uh, but we have done so. We actually just toured around the country with it uh, for the Entech Roadshow, and we've um, given it a, a good listening to. So this basically fits into the, the Leo family of, of sort of large-scale arrays and uh, brings it down into a much more compact package. So, uh, yeah, bit of heft to this one. It's still only 34 kilos. Well, benchmark for me was the Australian Monitor AM 1600 <laughs> amplifier, which weighed the same, and I should know because I used to build them. Okay. And, and that was too heavy. Yes. And look at this, you've yeah. got a, a speaker system with an amplifier, mm. same weight. Yeah. So they've done really well. They have. In they weight have. minimization. Yeah. So uh, on the inside, we've got two uh, nine inch uh, handling the mid and low and a three inch uh, compression driver through a patented manifold. Um, and uh, there's an accompanying sub, the uh, 900 LFC, but you can actually use Leopard with any of the existing subs from uh, the Leo family. I think the, the sweet spot with this is the sub, mm. the combination. Mm. Yeah, and because of the weight and, and the ring, you can actually hang six elements of the top box and two LFCs off a half ton motor. And that's a pretty beefy system, and mm. that's what it's all about. It may be compact, but what it kicks out is pretty impressive. Yeah, so was, uh, in our latest mag, there's a profile of CMG AV in Wollongong, Illawarra, who mm. bought um, 12 of these aside. Mm. And they say they're getting quite phenomenal SPL at front of house. Yeah, and having been in, the, in several rooms with it uh, lately, uh, I believe them. Now, the other thing about it is that the power is great, but it's the actual clarity that really impresses me. Right. I mean, look, I've, I've always been a bit of a Maya Sound fan, being a theatre background kind of person. Uh, but the clarity and, and the phase coherence is what really gets it. You just get this incredible detail in everything that you put through it. Mm. Um, there's no sort of smearing or lo lobing. I mean, I mean, there must be lobing because it's a line array, but I couldn't hear it. I was walking up and down these rooms and, you know, it's just not apparent to me. Mm. But a variety of material, literally from, you know, classical and jazz through to, to full on rock, just it just comes alive through the mm. system. It, you get out of it exactly what you put into it and uh, you get it in great detail. And uh, yeah, so all the usual stuff with my sound, you uh, design your array in uh, their map software, you can run it off their Callisto processors. When you've been given all your splay angles, you've got this simple pin system uh, that can run from 0 0.5 degrees to 15 degrees, depending on what you need. And it all goes together pretty pretty seamlessly. Uh, got RMS included, the usual my sound thing. And but yeah, just an incredibly coherent and an elegant result from a, uh, a from beautiful a product system. yeah from a compact system yeah. mm. well thanks for watching um, like us subscribe to us and share us with your friends thanks